Welcome to We Really Love Island with Rem and M. I'm Remy Casimir. I'm a stand-up comedian, and I host the sex podcast, How Come? I'm Emily Wilson. I'm also a comedian and a former X Factor USA contestant. We are obsessed with love, sex, and reality TV. So we're binging British reality show phenomenon, Love Love Island. Island. And now, so so are you. Watch along with us, and then listen to what we have to say about the episode. This episode, we're talking about season one, episode 20. Uh, I would like to call this episode a genuine penis head dilemma. Yeah. Because it is a, it's a penis between a penis and a head, but he's kind of being a penis head. Yeah. You know, it's like a penis Um, head with a dilemma. No. No, Oh, you disagree. Okay. Okay. (laughs) We'll talk about this. Okay. Um, but yeah, the whole episode, the whole episode was basically revolving around Jess, Naomi and Max and kind of Josh. Kind of Josh. Yeah. Poor Josh. I mean, I, I like, I almost don't feel bad for him because he's been such a dick, but now he's being a little more sensitive to Jess and stuff and like being more friends and he's just getting like played. Yeah. I mean, I don't think that like, I, I don't think there's any reason to like be mad at him. Yeah. Um, and like he didn't, like he didn't do anything wrong. There was nothing like, like it was a mutual breakup and then now that this is happening, it's kind of like just like... Like a mutual breakup with Naomi. Yeah. 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 Oh, I, we haven't talked about the breakup yet, but yes, yes. Definitely. Yeah. Like I don't, think... I was just saying like to Jess, he's been kind of a cunt, but. Oh yeah. 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 No to Naomi. He's been like really sweet and like respectful and like, he just wants to bang her. Right. Yeah. And yeah, doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Which understandable. Yeah. Like when he said that in the beginning of the episode. Yeah. I was like, whoa, you've been sleeping next to each other for 14 days already. Right, and I was going to say, like, is that... That's a that... lot of time on vacation time to me. I know, because I respect her decision to not want to, but then I'm like, 14 days on Love Island is like two months in... Yeah, like, I just don't... I don't really agree with all of her values. Like, when As she... in, like, why would you come on the show if that's how you feel? No, 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 definitely not. Uh, I just think... I think she... she would have sex with somebody that she was into. I just don't think she's into Josh. Right. And I think she's, like, making excuses for it, kind of. Yeah, and I think it, she's also in this place where she doesn't see it going beyond anything sexual. So yeah. she's almost like, I'd rather not because I don't see anything long-term with you. Yeah. I could see that being true. And I think she's lying about the one-night stand. A hundred percent. That was so weird. Yeah. She was like, I've never done that. I think it's disgusting. And then they're all like, we've had an answer. She's like, oh, yeah, for a girl, not a guy. Yeah. And it's like, why are you throwing the rest of your gender under the bus? Right. Just yeah, because yeah, yeah. you don't want to have a one night stand. Yeah, that was very annoying. It's so fucked up. Yeah. Like, does, do you want to sound cool? I know. Because it's not. I don't know. I hate her. Also, like she had overlapping relationships. <laughs> There's no way she didn't have a one night stand. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. I kind of did like that. She was friends with Hulk, though. I liked that little banter. Yeah. I was like, that's yeah, that an interesting cute. pairing. Yeah. Especially when she was like, yeah, Max like has our kind of sense of humor. And I'm like, are you guys friends? Yeah. Right. I never even saw them together. Yeah. Um, I also liked when Jess was like, yeah. Um, she was like, Max is kind of cool. He's like different for me. I usually date like dummies. And then the camera pans, pans to Josh. To Josh. Like, Literally. Oh yeah. I've always been with idiots. Yeah. That was so funny. She's like, I've been with no beds. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I also thought it was weird during the breakup when like Naomi was like, yeah, like I know you can't be yourself. And like, and then Josh is like, yeah, I just think you have more banter with Lewis. And like, you're always flirting with Lewis. And she's like, well, like I can't be with Lewis. Like Callie's here. Like she yeah. still didn't rule him out. Yeah, I know she's. Such and I a felt snake. like she was still like feeling like mm-hmm. like really you're gonna ask like you're now ex like yeah how like how how is so yeah Cali- Calu and it's weird be- Calu it's Calu. weird because she like in the confessionals kept saying like I feel like I seem like such a bitch I'm gonna look like I'm gonna a bitch look if like I such a this. bitch yeah and that so that mentality of like you're not sorry you did it you're sorry you got caught exactly so she wants to do all these things that she's and she's like crying because it's like 
no one's gonna like me if I do them. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah, because I just want to be shitty. like my mean, manipulative self and like not own up to any. Like, even when Jess was like, are you gonna go for Max now? She was like, well, because you got mad at me before when I lied, I guess I can't say no this time. Yeah. Like, it was the most like circumnavigational yeah. way to say it. Is that, yeah. That's a word. Yeah. Right? It's a word. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then she breaks up. And how many, okay drinking game drink every time she refers to herself and josh as ken and barbie oh my god like shut up ken and bobby broke up yeah and the way she said it to lewis like she went to lewis immediately after yeah. the breakup and I was know. like well that's it for ken and barbie and yeah. like in this like really kind of like callous like i don't give a fuck way yeah and lewis was like oh fuck really yeah, he was like shut up he's like oh my yeah. god what a shame like and then she was like oh shit emotions i forgot about emotions yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. and like people are actually invested in in things here yeah um i know she's just <laughs> then somebody was like oh i want to talk about it with travis and we both looked at each other we we're like who the fuck is I travis know. yeah 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 i fully forgot he's so fucking forgettable he really well he hasn't they haven't like shown much of him so how are we supposed to feel anything for him uh, yeah, Yet. true. But also, um, it's interesting to me how, like, when Josh brought up not having sex with Naomi, they've been sleeping together for 14 yeah. days. It was really interesting how, like, I I was trying to put myself in, like, his shoes of, like, he was like, you know how hard it is, like, yeah, for, and I do feel like it would be harder for a guy in that situation, because I was wondering, like I was going to ask you this, like, do you think it's harder for a guy or a girl to not have sex? For I think long? it's equal. I used to think it was a guy because I was like, they need to get their cum out because they're yeah. making cum every day and it's just sitting in their balls. But like, I think we have an equal amount of sexual frustration if you are a sexual person. Right. Like, it depends on the person. It's not like girl guy. Yeah. I think. Like, yeah, I guess they get boners, but so do we. Yeah. But if I you guys like don't know don't, that, clits get boners. Right. But I feel like we don't, or maybe, I feel like, I feel like there are more women. Like, Zoe wants to fuck Hulk so badly. Yeah. No, that I know. But I feel like with women, and tell me what you think about this. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's more likely that a girl will get one when there's some emotional attraction to. Death. Like, I feel like. Death. We don't get them as purely physically no, as guys do. No. And, which is why and I feel... it's quenchable when it's just physical. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I feel like Naomi tried to make that excuse because Josh is like, I've been sitting here for 14 days and she doesn't want to do anything. Yeah. And the reason why... Like, Naomi was like, I'm attracted to him, but like... No, she's she wasn't, not. But she but wasn't She feeling, was attracted to him, but she wasn't feeling emotionally attracted. Which is... She was initially attracted. And that's what I think was so funny was Josh was like, I'm your type. Max is your type. Who's your type? Like, you're the same type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. exactly the same height. Yeah. You're both a white guy with, like, kind of blondy brown hair. Long and on like, top, a little curly. Lo- yeah. yeah, blue eyes. Like, you're the same guy. Yeah. It's just your personality. She doesn't like you. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's what I mean of, like, I... It made me think, like... Cause That's Josh, why it was easier for her to lay next to him. Because Josh... But, yeah, because he, he was even saying, like, yeah, me and Naomi don't really get on much. Like, mm-hmm. kind of feels like we're staying at one level. Yeah. But I feel like men are more physic Like, their boners are more physically uh, induced, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. It's just by, like, ooh, there's a body next to me. Right. Or, like, ooh, it's morning. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely harder for them. But I also just think he was attracted to her, so it made it even more difficult. Right. Like, it just definitely was easy for her. And she's just like, oh, no, I'm just not that kind of girl. Cause, yeah. Because those girls are disgusting. Yeah. Ugh. That accent just reminded me of Danielle. Remember Danielle? She was so posh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She it's, had, like, marbles in her mouth. It's disgusting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, um, anyway. Anyway. I love. I we we were saying how we both missed Hannah so much because yeah. we we took a little time in between yeah. the last episode of this one. I miss Hannah and I missed Lauren. Yeah. And I, but I loved seeing the the girl circle when she's like, "Sorry, we started without you, Jess." Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we had to start the story without you. Um, 
will say, mm-hmm. um, and this is about Max. Okay. I don't think he's being a penis head. Okay. Because when he, when him and Jess had their talk, mm-hmm. it made me think like he really does, I think, genuinely care about the emotions of both Jess and Naomi. I think so too. Like he was saying to whoever it was he was talking to. If, was First Travis, he talked to, oh. Mm. What guy was he talking to? And he just kept saying, it's fucked. It's fucked. It's all fucked. You're playing with human emotion here. Oh, I don't remember that part. I might have gotten up. But he was talking to either Travis or someone, someone not invested. Not invested. Yeah. yeah. But he was basically saying to them because they were like, "What are you going to do?" And he's like, "I don't know." Like, yeah, yeah, I, like yeah. these are humans' emotions that I'm dealing with. This is really fucked. No, and I think he genuinely does like Jess. And he said to Jess because she because. I mean, Jess is Jess, and I love her forever, but she was kind of, like, pressing him a bit and being like, well, do you fancy, like, what do you... Right, no, when it got to that point, that was annoying, but I just hated when he said straight out in the beginning, he was like, yeah, I like you, but I just, like, don't know, like... He was like, if she's nice to me. If she's nice to me. Like, it could have been like, well, okay, actually, I have been considering this, and, like, like, we do get on... Like, the way that they were, like, flirting, it was kind of, like... They both knew him and Naomi mm-hmm. that like this was eventually going to happen. Yeah, but I don't think he was trying to like lie about it to Jess. I think he was like trying his best was... to be considerate, but also yeah. be like not give her an answer that would get him caught in shit if he did wind up going for Naomi. Because mm. he was saying like I don't plan on changing anything right now, but like but, I don't like, know if what's we get happen. along. Yeah. yeah, I just think he already knew that they got along. Yeah, but I don't think he wanted to sit there because I think I he think genuinely- he was just saying like if she pursues me, like if she pursues me, like something might happen, which is like I don't just it's just not the answer you want from a guy you're hooking up with. You want right. it to be like no, like but I think he also genuinely yeah. did not know what he wanted right. to do. No, in the I moment, know, and he like wanted to leave both doors open, but he also was considered for like what was he supposed to say to her? I don't know. I just feel bad for her. Like I want I her know. to like be loved, and I also don't like. I mean. It makes sense and it's like totally natural for them to be like, oh, yeah, on the outside world, I don't think we'd be as suited. And it's just like, yeah, OK, maybe not. But like you are getting along. So yeah. like, I don't know. Try- mm. Yeah, to judge it. But maybe that's off, like- bad. Maybe just like date people that you're suited for. And mm. no, no, because <laughs> I mean, I agree with you of like, why judge what's happening right now based on what like should be happening if you weren't yeah. there? And a lot of people kept being like, you and Naomi just look better together to Max. Like, even Lewis was like, you guys look better together. She's more... But, like, he likes... Like, uh, I don't know. It just bothered me. I know. And then he was like, I need a poo. I'm nervous. Yeah, I'm so nervous. I need a poo. A nervous poo. Um... So I think he genuinely cares, which makes me happy. Yeah. No, I think he cares. Because he's not trying to hurt anybody. Like, other guys are kind of... Like, it feels like... They're aware, but they're not like, it's not like ruling them. Yeah. It's interesting too that somebody was, or I think it was Jess, was like, do you think Josh would go for me still? Yeah. And Hannah was like, I think he would. Yeah. Well, because Jess even said she was like, yeah, I mean, like, I don't I think I always give Max- Jess a pass. I know, me too. I'm like, oh, oh if you want to hook up with Josh again, like, crack on. I don't care if you have never had feelings with her, Max. Which yeah. is like, no, I hold everybody else to such a high standard. I know. But she, does, I feel like Jess has gotten so much shit that I'm on her team as yeah, well. Yeah, I'm like, just do whatever the fuck you want. Mm-hmm. Like, get get your ass ate. Just yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a little too far. Um, oh, yeah, then Naomi goes to, quote, unquote, lotion her hands or whatever the fuck she's doing um, and talk to Max. Mm-hmm. And then... Oh, he, yeah, and she's, like, scratching her hands off. Yeah, and yeah. Penis Head <laughs> is having his dilemma. Okay, about- so... When that happened, that's yeah. when I kind of turned back a bit on how I felt about Max. Because I was yeah, like... Yeah, he's like laying okay. in bed, just like flirting. And like initiating most of the conversation, he kept being like, I don't know, I just, when I walked in here, you were the one. Yeah. 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 And they ke- and I here's one thing I did like is like when Naomi was like, yeah, they said during like the live show that like he liked me or whatever. And yeah. everyone's like, yeah, we knew that. Yeah. And I, I just love whenever they talk about the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like are aware. But I don't know. It's not like The Bachelor where it's like, I've had feelings for him and I don't know that every other girl from 30 other seasons has right. said the same exact line. Right, right, right. 
But also when Max, when that was happening, when he's like in bed talking to Naomi, it at first I was like a little annoyed because I was like, Max, you just said that if she comes on to you, you yeah. Would be like, but then I also was like, okay. I tried to put myself in his shoes of like, if I was on the show Mm -hmm. and I was paired up or I guess they're not officially paired up, but like was paired up. I'm like not clear on what's going on right now. Me neither. But if I was paired up with this person who like wasn't my first choice and like I kind of wasn't that into, but then we started getting along a bit, but like, I don't know. I didn't feel fully anything for them. If it was me, I'd forgive me. I'm just (laughs) mad at me. Yeah. And then the person who I first laid my eyes on suddenly is like, well, I've liked you too. Yeah. Well, but I feel like I would have been like, okay, so here's the thing is like, that was my first choice and I would like to go on a date with her or whatever, or him and you know, whoever is my first choice and then like feel it out and then Mm -hmm. I'll let you know. Not just like, yeah, if she comes on to me, because that just like absolves you of all the responsibility. Yeah. Like I'd kind of just be like, yeah, this is Love Island. Like I want to like seize the opportunity. Yeah, I feel like the show like now at the point we're in, it's become so much more like you're not allowed to be as open. Like remember in the beginning, everyone kept being like, this is Love Island. Like, yeah, if someone does come along, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah. but now I feel like people are so further along in their relationships that it's like, you can't just right. do that anymore. Well, Hannah and John like set a precedent Yeah, and like everybody else. And I guess like Callie and Lou, like Lou said he said loves I Callie. Love you. Yeah. So they're pretty serious now. And I think like just the other couples are feeling the pressure of that. And yeah. then you've got p- fucking poor Lauren who like, I know. We'll never be. Ugh. I like when that happens. I don't know how this is going to come off. Okay. But whatever. Mm, maybe I don't want to. Fuck it. Well, we're, we're being yeah, honest. Yeah, you could cut okay. it out too. Yeah, we can always get yeah. it out. I have like a couple times had these like drunk. Because they were drinking. Mm-hmm. So like she was probably a little tipsy. And yeah, they were yeah, crying yeah. And stuff. yeah. I've had these conversations with people where like they're drunk and they like confide in me and say like i just feel like i'm so ugly and yeah. nobody ever wants me and it's like i'm sitting there and they're like i've i know them and i know this is what like their track record does yeah show. yeah and it's just like what do, do you, want you say me? to those yeah. people like what do you say? because it is this thing where I, I genuinely do feel like you are an amazing person like yeah aside from all this like uh, like i think you're so great and all this stuff but it's like but statistically how- and how do I say to you, like, <laughs> I know, like, yeah, yeah. No, I, I just, think Callie went about it really she nicely. Handled it. I was she was say, very sweet. She handled it very and well. And she was like, oh, somebody will come along. But like, what if they don't? Then you're a liar. I mean, you're not a liar, but like, it's like it's not like, her fault. Yeah. It's like, it's just like, yeah. Do you give somebody? I, I'm sh- I, I have mean, to check in on Lauren after this season yeah, and see if she's with see, anybody. Yeah. I'm sure she, I mean, she is the type of person that like, no, in a club, she's not going to be like the most desirable right. or whatever, like because guys are there for a certain reason or a certain type or whatever. Yeah. But there are guys, too, who would love to be with the girl who's friends with everybody and like yeah. makes people feel at ease. Like totally. she has a lot of amazing qualities. And I'm sure being on the show, like just like made other people see her and be like, right. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I do kind of relate to her in the sense where. I personally have also never been the person where put on makeup and shit or no. Oh. Well, kind of me too. I never get like too dressed up. No, first of all, me neither. But also I've never, ever been the girl who, when I walk into a room, someone like by the way I look comes up. To right, me. right. Right. I've right. always been the kind of girl where like, when you get to know me, you become attracted to yeah. more attracted to me. Yeah. Yeah. So especially in high school, like I was like, like I really felt the way she was talking. Yeah. So it did make me relate in that way of like, damn, this is kind of a show that does judge you off of that 100%. first impression stuff. And she like, I feel like totally did not expect her role that she has now to be the one she would have when she came on the show. Right. She was just like, oh, this is going to be a fun dating show where I'm going to be like kind of even with everybody. But like, yeah, it's it's, it's not even like that. They're like not because everyone is so different. Yeah. Like I wouldn't if I ever saw Hannah in like normal life, I would never be like, Ooh, that girl's so hot. I want to be her. Yeah, no, you know, or be intimidated by her. But because Hannah gets more looks on the island, it's still like, well, I'm getting less attention than someone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's a weird like self worth. I would probably go insane. They must have like therapists on set. They have to have something because you know all that time constantly spent with one another. 
competing against each other kind of like never having a minute to yourself without your mic being on like yeah. you must go a little crazy yeah literally um oh i just had written down makes me look like an absolute bitch just about naomi how she cares about what she looks like and not actually what she does yeah again um also max's body all hail max's body my god i want to eat things off of it yeah i he's so hot. oh my god he's so hot okay then we have the in hot water challenge which was basically just let's blow up naomi's spot yeah. the producers just wanted to blow up her spot which i liked i like to um i i don't know how i would have handled it if i was her like, I think she handled it pretty well, actually. Just, like, a few no, tears. No, she did. She was lying during it. She was like, no, Lou, you said that, Lou. No, 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 but I mean, like, after the way she handled it emotionally, like, in the confessional afterwards, I feel like I would have been a wreck. Yeah, oh, definitely. Because, like, she, that, that's like when you, like, in middle school, if, like, you talk shit about somebody. Yeah. And then they literally come up to you and go, hey, everybody just told me that you said this. And you're like, and you're oh, like, fuck. Uh, yeah. I literally, when I was nine, I was at sleepaway camp. Yeah. And... This is a real bitchy move. I'm not, I'm not proud. Yeah. But I liked this guy and he was dating this girl. They had just started like, quote unquote, dating like a day before. Yeah. And so I like went up to him and I was like, I don't know if you guys like really would get along. Like she's really, really? annoying. Like, I don't know. I just don't like her or whatever. And then she was like right behind me and she was like, no. Remy. And I was like, I, I knew you were right there. Oh my God. Otherwise, why would I say something like yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Did not that's even, just, I did not even get the boy. Damn. Very sad. Well, that's karma working for yeah, him. No, that's instant karma. Yeah. <laughs> that is a packet of karma. Yes. Um, Max about Jess had a bit of a, bit of a squeeze. Mm-hmm. Um, that's my type. Naomi about Max. Blah, blah, blah. He's gorgeous, babe. Jess about Lewis. I think that was just for fun. And then I'm, I'm just a, such a little player on the outside from Naomi. Yeah. Like, what are, you're a little player, but you've never had a one-night stand? Right. What I mean, are you? Yeah, just admitting you're a tease. Yeah, literally. Liter- yeah. Oh, I'm such a fucking annoying bitch. Yeah. On the outside and in here. Um, that, that whole thing, like, I felt really sad for her, and it was obviously just for the producers to expose her, but yeah. I was just like, thank you. Yeah, the producers. No. Yeah. Because she deserved it. She's, she's. Literally, we've had it done three times that somebody has come in being like, Naomi is sketchy. Yeah. Or maybe not three, maybe two. But one of them was the girls that they interviewed uh, to come into the house. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't remember who it was. What some girl? She was um, like, "Watch out for Naomi. She's sketchy." On the Facetime. On yeah, the, yeah, yeah. And then like two other like in-house moments. They were just like, "Oh, Naomi, you said this and, and whatever." And she just like she always skirts out of issues. Mm-hmm. Like, and I'm like, "How she's are you so doing shady. that? You're such a slippery seal." She really is. She's super snaky. Yeah, snake. Okay. Um, any girl who only is friendly, like, cause she's like barely friendly with the girls. Barely. Like, it was so awkward when she like told them about her and Josh breaking up. It was, it just felt so staged. Yeah. But she's like, <laughs> I which, guess I have to tell you guys. Yeah. So she's mostly friends with the guys. It seems. Yeah. Any girl who like only has guy friends, like zero girlfriends. Yeah. Shame. Warning. Warning. Red flag. <laughs> Zoe. Zoe was really nice to her uh, when she was crying. Zoe was like, I'm always here. And I was like, you are such a sweet. Yeah. I thought she was- must be friends with Zoe and Hulk as a couple. Mm, yeah. And that, and since Zo- she's not coming after Hulk, because always like, hey, I'll be your friend. Yeah, I'll be your friend. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Um, Cal and Bess shows up then. Like, what? Go so away. Dumb. You're so oh, ugly. Wow. I also like, they made it really unclear as to why he's here. Because he's like, he's like, yeah, I'm back. And it's like, but are you back for good or, like because you're 34 are you, yeah like, or are you just like taking the boys out yeah um also lauren thinks he's hot i don't know why anybody thinks he's hot he has so much botox does have so much botox oh my god and his accent fuck his you accent. you should oh, not be on the show that's why i'm nervous for the mm. u.s version i'm like this is gonna suck i know it's just gonna feel like a worse version of bachelor in paradise yeah great him no hopefully good we'll see we hope for the best yeah um naomi also sticks in one more jab right before the show ends 
she goes, oh my God, I'm so glad I'm not in a couple because I'd be freaking out while my guy goes out to Magaluf or yeah. whatever. And it's just, and Jess has just said, I'm freaking out. Yeah. And, jo- and she's like, yeah, I would be. Yeah. Like, why are you such an asshole? She's such a, a, a giant cunt. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, I despise. And she's one of those people who like the whole time her and Jess were having that conversation when Jess was like, hey, look, I, I, I want Max. I yeah, really yeah, hope yeah, you don't yeah, do this. Yeah. Naomi was like playing with her hair and like smiling the whole time. Yeah. No one likes a person who in a bad news situation is like smiling. Yeah. Ooh. Shady. Shady. Anyone who has to deliver bad news and like smiles while they tell you is like, you don't have my best interest in mind. Yeah. You have yours. And you're crazy. Per- you're not mm-hmm. even thinking about like anyone's emotion. You're just no. thinking about like the storyline and mm-hmm. like how it's going to progress. Mm-hmm. Ooh, hate And her. it's like, if you are saying, I probably look like such a bitch on the outside, it's like, you're being well, a why bitch. Why do you think? Yeah. yeah. Ugh. Ugh, everything I do is my fault. Yeah, yeah. Well, you did it. Yeah. Stupid idiot. All right, we've got some vocab words. Yes. What are they? Oh, right. No. Bef- and before next time, too, we see Hannah's tits. Oh, yeah. Right before the credits, we see her full tits. Yeah, and there's guys coming to hang out with them. I know. Which was, like, very exciting because I was like, oh, the boys get to go out with Callum. And they have to just sit home. And they just have to sit home and knit. And no, they get, like, nice. I hope Lauren gets a D. Me too. Um, okay. Yes. Um, I think Max said proper bad. Proper bad. Which just means, like, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, I don't think she's got the bottle. Mm-hmm. Do we know what that means? Max said that about Jess. Whether or not you have the nerve to take on something. Oh, she was. He was saying, I don't think Jess has the. You don't. I don't think Naomi, Naomi has, has the, the bottle to go for Max. To go for Max, because right. as Jess had says many times in this episode, she will drown her. She will drown her in the yeah. pool. Yeah. Right into the pool you go, yeah. and then she will go under, and she will not come up. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone like when Josh heard that, he was like, "Did you say you drown her?" And she's, she's like, like, "Yeah, oh, it's just a bit of banter. Yeah, but I yeah, yeah, drown her. Yeah, she yeah, said yeah. she's gonna drown her like a million times. Yeah. Oh, hilarious to me." So good. Um, gutted. I'm absolutely gutted. I think we've had gutted before. Okay. But it's like, just like, yeah, real sad. Knobhead, dickhead. Um, jogged Josh on. I think let him on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what is Magaluf? I think it's like the name of a... Uh, it's a club where there's only 17-year-old. Oh, or a town? Oh, no. Yes. Magaluf is a resort town on the Spanish island of Mallorca. It is known okay. for its lively nightlife and long, fine sand beach. That's great. So they went. They basically went out to like... The Hamptons. Yeah. I guess. Was that my voice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it so a little squeak like, to ah. it. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm really, <laughs> really excited for this next episode. Me too. Um, seeing Hannah's boobs, even for a second. What a dream. Dream. Major dream. Um, yeah. Any closing thoughts? Um, I'm excited because the footage of them in Magaluf mm-hmm. looks oddly like HD and soap opera like. Yes. So I'm excited to see how they did that. BAFTA worthy. Mm-hmm. A lot of these British shows have BAFTAs just because really? of, like, of how they're shot. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. Um. Also, I think I saw Lewis making out with somebody in Magaluf in the promo. Really? Or somebody unexpected. Yeah. I think Someone so. in a couple that I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. We can go back back and watch yeah. to see who we think it was. I mean, we could just watch the episode. That's true. We should do that too. Shall we? Yes. Okay. Okay. Hey guys, I know we really love Island, but do you? If you really love We Really Love Island, let us know. Leave a rating, a review, and tell everyone you know to subscribe too. You can find us everywhere that podcasts are found. iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, YouTube, Google Play, all of them. Hopefully, if they don't work, message us. You can find us on Instagram at We Really Love Island. Follow us individually at The Real Emily Wilson and at Remy Casimir. You could also like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash We Really Love Island. Follow us on Twitter at We Really Love Island. <laughs> yeah. Send us your thoughts, your prayers, and if you know any of the contestants, send them our way. Yes. Perfect. Amazing. And always remember that we're not affiliated with Love Island, ITV, CBS, or anything. We're not official anything. We're just two comedian girls. Thank you. Goodbye.